morning everybody. So what I've got here are two magnets from a speaker. They're here. This is a speaker and that's the speaker magnet right there. You take them out by knocking this metal plate off and you'll end up with a couple of ring magnets like that. Now these are brilliant with only one teeny tiny drawback. That's north and that's south. So if we were to put this in a generator what we'd need to do is spin it in that direction which is mightily inconvenient considering they have a great big hole in the centre of them so it'd be brilliant if we could put them in that way but bend the north pole around here and bend the south pole around there so it went north south north south along the edge. That incidentally is exactly how an alternator works but it does it with a coil and we'd like to be able or I'd like to be able to do it with speaker magnets because you can get these really easily and they're all over the place turns out we can do that to do that we need to build something here is some three millimeter thick mild steel plate and a HSS hole saw let's cut out some discs it's about 50 millimeters I think Now we've got our discs, I've marked them off for 12 4 mil holes going around the centre. Let's drill those out. OK, now we've got that, let's thread those holes. What I've got here is a lot of coach bolts, they're M5 and that bit's smooth so I'm not going to have to um, cover them in electrician's tape and we can put a bolt on them, a nut on them, screw them in our threaded holes and a nut on the bottom and we do that with all 12. And that's what we get, we need two now of those. Now we've got two of these, we want to cut the heads off of all of these bolts, I suppose you could cut them off first but anyway we want to cut the heads off all of these bolts and what we end up with is that. Now we can take our speaker magnets and put them in the centre of that, which they should just fit. What happens is the north goes on this steel plate and gets bent round here. When we put the other steel plate on, the south will get bent round to the next, so we'll get north, south, north, south, because we're bending the magnetic fields with the edge of this metal plate and these bolts. So we slot those two together around the magnets and stick an axle through it and what we've got is an alternator. It's taken that north face and shoved it there, that south face is shoved there, so now we get north, south, north, south, north, south from those two magnets. Okay, so just to show you this works, what I've got is a coil and an LED. Now if we haven't bent the magnetic fields we'll get no generation. If we have we should be able to light that LED, so let's give it a go. So there we go, our little construction successfully bent the fields from here to here and from here to here. Okay, so it works, but what's the point? Who's going to make that apart from somebody like me? Well, nobody probably, but that principle of bending the field from here to here is very important when it comes to things like this. This is a car alternator. It does exactly the same thing, only with a coil making the magnet instead of a magnet making the magnet. And if you want to, you can turn this into a, brush, a brushless permanent DC motor. You see people doing it by drilling into the crab claw alternator, but you don't have to. You can take that alternator, take it apart, and put one of these in, a neodymium ring magnet, and then put the alternator claws back together. Exactly the same thing will happen with this, and you will find you have a generator. So if you want to bother doing something like that, you'd have a good generator. The way it works is it bends the field round from here to here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe. 